Oh, it's starting. Hey, みなさんこんにちは。ソラの桜井。Hello everyone, it's pretty loud. Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Game is recently won five awards at this year's Japan Game Awards. Five awards. It's received a great many awards on top of that as well. Each award is very meaningful to me, so I would like to take the opportunity to extend my thanks to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported us. Thank you so much. He's the He's about to show off for like 45 minutes. Without further ado, let's begin the presentation. First, we'll start with what the Neo Geo is. It refers to a 1990s. It's just a history lesson. No way. In arcades and at home, as well as to the name. So 45 minutes is. In 1990, the equivalent to the Super NES. Apparently, there's no character reveal. So if you wanted to play arcade games at home before then, the only option was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment System. However, with the Neo Geo system. You could play the arcade versions of games at home with no drop in quality. They want that extra 10 minute ad revenue, but times four. Back then, Japan had rental services for arcade games. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home, and play it. After that, they were sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. That's expensive. But if you think about it, compared to playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, you're getting your money's worth. At the time, some people actually thought this was cheap. <laughs> I mean, there really are people who played games in the Super Smash Bros. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places, and for an arcade machine, it wasn't all that expensive. You could also get them on lease. That's why you'd end up in the like candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. The home what? version of the Neo Geo came with this controller. Can you see? It has four buttons. This is totally just. And this is the actual console itself. Here's the reset button, and here you slot in the big game cartridges. This is the Neo Geo. Just kidding. Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home console. Beat Nintendo Switch to it. I hate those fake, those fake laughs. <laughs> oh, they might not even be fake. I have no idea. Sounded pretty fake. Okay. It released in 1991. This is good. The same year as now I know. Two. But this one came later. It launched after Street Fighter 2. Like many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title. Well, little history lesson? I don't mind. I just want to see the man. But that's not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. Oh. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. I bet you Terry's gonna have at least one move from Ryu and Ken. Did I just hear you say oh. Yes. Wow. This one is also a multiplayer focus. Did you uh, wait, did you say well? Could have sworn you said well. Named Jeff Bogart is killed by Geese Howard. Spoiler Geese alert! A fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. I mentioned the term King of Fighters, something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called the King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. And Terry Bogart, who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, it looks really good for like a King of Fighter series. Like it looks cool. If you want to play a game from either the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. Yo, look, hmm. he's got four you controllers, he's a better rock. First, but my recommendations from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special Edition. From the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters 95. But if you want to play a fighting game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King Smash of Fighters Bros. 98. <laughs> We should actually play it. We should have played it like once he got announced. 
Actually, this video was Fatal recorded Fury? about one month prior yeah. to its release. Oh. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this one, and that takes time. This was released a month like This was a c recorded a month ago. Correct. The they actually so they recorded Banjo and the Heroes at the same time. I think. Since we had the opportunity, I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning in this discussion, the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. Okay. But there's nothing to worry about. When we released the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Brothers, I was often asked, who is Samus? Whether or not the character is fun to play as is more important than whether the character is new or old, or whether the character is recognizable to everyone. I want to make sure I present That's actually quite true. Wait, really wait, understand. I don't get it. See, it's more fun for a character to be fun than you to recognize them. Okay, let's begin. Well, at least that's what I got from it. Which is... I mean... Makes sense. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Hey! This is Terry Bogart in Ooh. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's hot. He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game. I like we it. We did our best to make him look cool in a variety of ways. <laughs> look at his, look at his thighs. View, it almost makes you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Bros. thing? Doesn't it? I love that stage. Just like you, when you're playing one -on -one, yeah, that stage is sweet. Opponent. Actually, he always looks in the opponent's direction. Oh, he's like Ryu. Look, look at this. I hate that. He'll quickly turn around. All what do you mean? Break that. Focus on the opponent. I don't like it. The Ryu and Ken. So they always oh, look he's at just other. like Ryu. He's yeah, just like Ryu. He turns down, even. That's what he just said. And high kick. Okay, this is fun. He's gonna be fun. I played so much Ryu when he first came out, especially when when Ryu first came out for the Wii U. I played him so much. I freaking loved it. Yes. He was so cool. And others. In the original series, it was one of the special moves. His tilt attacks are middle kick, rising upper, and under. Compared to Ryu, his attack speed is slower. This oh. is to match his original series. Mm. Now for smash attacks. First up, backspin kick. Ooh. Whoa! This smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, but the motion is even Pretty cool. He moves a lot. Next, wild upper and slide kick. <laughs> Both are from the original. His series. down smash is like another then forward smash. Moves. Jump, then chop. Jump, then kick. Oh, he's got. Jump, then backward kick. It looks just like. And then somersault kick. Yo, that looks However, that looks sick. That's hilarious. In the original series. That looks pretty funny. Oh, it's a new it's a new move they added. This will be created a new move. Imagine if that spiked. That'd be sweet. Also, jump and then karate punch for a down air attack. Ooh, spiked. Okay. If you successfully Great. pull off a down air. It's possible Boom. to attack with a meteor effect, as you nice. can see here. It's basically like views. Next, I'll cover his throws. His forward throw is his familiar Buster throw. His back throw. How long has it been? It has been and his down throw eight minutes. There's no way they have 45. They're going fast. In fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. I know Sakurai said no, no modes, but do you think they're, they're going to add another one? I don't think he said no modes. He's like it's pretty much the last then, mode. Pretty much. I don't know. This sort of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. I honestly can't believe that they're not announcing someone new. <laughs> And this actually does exist. Also, this is way too early for a live stream. During a spot dodge, immediately press eight the in the morning. To it's actually not. But it's eight for us. In Eastern During time. A, attack, a lot of people got up at five. So this kind of move gives you the advantage when you counter attack. But I think in Japan, it's like now for a special sense. It's probably like I think it's twelve hours ahead or behind or whatever. His neutral special with just the B button is power wave. I like it. That's the one they showed off already. Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types of special oh. attacks. Weak and strong. Okay, so it, it is like Ryu. And kind of slow. Well, we already and established it's, it's like Ryu. Fast, isn't it? For Ryu, in his original game, you use three buttons. So there That's a clean, perfect shield. Strong <laughs> for Terry Bova, <laughs> you could use four buttons in his yeah. original game. But there were only two buttons for punch. So that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and strong. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. 
If you okay, well. The attack parry is a move that shoots energy along the ground. But how does it look in the air? In his Oof. original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. Oof. This is oh. how it looks now. Oh. As of the King of Fighters 96, the power that was cool. ability had a shorter like range, so we've recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents in check. Next, we have a special performed while holding in the direction of your opponent, Burning Knuckles. To grab. This move also has a weak and strong version, as well as a command input. Command input. Like the Hadoken command input from Street Fighter 2, oh, you no. perform this command using the directional inputs down to the side in the direction of your opponent, and then press the button. Doing so makes the move a bit stronger. Aw oh, man. This means <laughs> our commands again. Yay! Weak without command input and strong without command input. Weak with command input and strong with command input. The Holy. Strong version using the command input is of course. Yo, I'm gonna powerful. it's gonna be so fun learning all these inputs. Input the again? We never played Street Fighter before. Well, actually, I did a bit, but I never got. We never got into Street Fighter before Ryu came out in Smash Wii U. You might also notice some so, It was fun to learn some of the command inputs. Slight, but there is a difference. A strong version with the command inputs really is strong, even capable of KOing opponents. It can be blocked, however, so be on the lookout for that. Also, do you think he's coming out today? Yes, he's coming out today. He's got it. He better or else I can't play him for a while. This is a first for the Super Smash what about me? But the side specials are split Am I coming out today? <laughs> no, the me costumes. Oh my gosh. That means there's one more side special than usual. Ooh! Wait, what is this? There's also command input version. Wait, I missed it. Pointing away and pressing B. by using the directional buttons down to the back followed by the A or B button. Wait a second, so there's different moves for one on one and can launch your opponent quite a bit further. No, no, just I think it's just whatever way you're facing. It's like Ryu. Oh, did you see that run? He looks sick when he ran. He kinda looked like Kirby when he ran. I know Kirby's just a ball but like it's hard to be counterattacked There's something I want you to remember. When you do a crack shoot off screen, this is how it will look. What the? Terry swings with his whole body when using burning knuckle and crack shoot, so it can be hard to recover. However, if you keep pressing backwards without infinite commands, you should be able to initiate crack shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Let me show you one more time. Do this, then continue to press backwards and then you can recover. If you press too quickly or input some commands, you'll fly right off the stage, so be careful. <laughs> and this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Whoa! Ooh. It also has weak and strong versions, each with different heights. And input versions, I'm assuming? And did you notice that if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little? In this case, your whole body will be invincible at the start. Either way, your legs will be invincible. Here's an example of this invincibility in action. With the standard rising tackle. Yeet. I got completely wiped out when I threw myself at them. <laughs> but with rising tackle's charged command version, you can't be hit at this moment. Well, that's a nice heat. Come out on top. Ooh. No, I can of course use rising tackle as a recovery as well. Of course. Even after using burning knuckle or crack shoot, you can still use rising tackle. This is also very helpful hmm. when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. I will get a pretty good recovery. Is power dunk. Ooh, power dunk. An attack that rises and descends. That looks sick. We're taking him back to the space jam. This side, down, diagonally, down command input is also known as the Shoryuken command. Oh. If you can pull it off, you'll be invincible at the start of the move. Nice! Holy. Also, you can hear a sound when it connects. 
but it might be What's tough that? to make out. What did you get hit by? I know, he had <laughs> something. Let's talk about canceling specials. I'd really like you to keep this in mind. First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, the special won't come out until the move animation has finished. Okay. That makes sense, right? Yes. But here's what happens if you cancel out of it. At this moment here, if you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be cancelled, allowing you to attack again immediately. Holy crap. I'll do that. That's first. freaking huge. Throw out a kick like normal. And once your leg extends, you'll perform the move. Set it up so that when you attack, you can go straight into a special. This will increase your offensive options. Please try this out. For example, neutral attack 1, 2, and power down. This is a bread and butter combo. <laughs> Aside from that, you can also get Terry oh to fly out and oh attack God. in M shape. In his original game, you could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's possible to cancel <laughs> Yes, it is. Also, what the heck is Ryu hitting on the side of the wall? Oh no. The types of aerial attacks that you can cancel are limited to things like neutral air attacks or down air attacks. But I think it would be wise to use these combos to So can you just do it? Like, fa like, can you just do it or do you have to click something? The final smash. His final what? Smash can you just do that or do you have to click something? To cancel it. I don't know. Triple geezer? However, <laughs> if you think that's all, you're very mistaken. <laughs> to, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh! As you can see, if Triple Geyser connects, you'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. <laughs> it's three moves in one. It's a visually striking combo. You may be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Yes, they're here too. With the usual rules, when the <laughs> goodness meter rises up to 100% or higher, oh, wait, what? Mode, when his overall HP drops to 30% or less, you'll see this go icon at the bottom of the screen. At this point, if you enter the specific command, down, down. You can down, down, B. The power geyser you see here. The command input is, if I borrow the way it's said in the original game, down, angle down, side, angle down, forward. Well, it's a bit complicated. Down, Holy. then backward, then forward. You see? It is an action game after all, so you get to control the direction of your punch. Be it right or left. In that case, no matter how many do you get? You're going for, just swap the right input and I wonder why it's so long. Does it just stay it's on? Downward, then backward, it's almost been 20 minutes. Or down, and then the opposite but it's direction. only almost been 20 minutes. There's no, there, you can't have more than this. I think it's possible. Oh. Whoa! Boom! Oh. You can initiate this one by repeating the Hadoken command input twice. Down to side, then down to side again. It's gonna be fun to learn. And then frustrating when I don't learn them. It can be rather difficult to Psych. Like, I'm a, I'm a learn them. But you can also use simplified command inputs. Tell me if you guys know oh, simplified command carry, inputs. Remember this. Down, side, down, forward. As long as you input the command downward from the side to the back, downward again, and then forward, you should be fine. In the case of Buster Wolf, it's simply down, side, down, side. That should be easier to remember. Even though the command input is complex, it can still be blocked. Yeah, that's the hardest part, remembering the commands. Since these moves but then again, I am pretty dumb. Has taken a lot of damage, you'll be in even more danger if your opponent blocks. So the high risk and high return. <laughs> Please save them for when you really need to make the last ditch effort. I will. You can use it again and again, but be careful. Your opponent may be able to predict your move and take action. 
Essentially, it's best to use it when it's least expected, or to cancel out of a combo, like this. Yeah, yeah, that's Show us stage. the stage. Oh, the servant showed us the stage. Or the taunts. I decided to match his Ooh. original game. His up taunt is, hey, come on, come on, from the King of Fighters series. His down taunt spins his hat like in the real bout series. Nice. And his side taunt is stand up from Gutto, Mark of the Wolves. Nice. I've demonstrated him using Sweet various music. special moves in the game so far, and you can hear his voice. Like that. We've incorporated both his longer remarks, like Power Wave, from older titles, and his shorter remarks, like Rock You, from newer titles. And here are his Oh, nice. Whoa. So there's yeah. a good variety of colors Black available one. from across the like series. The and the cat design is slightly different in each version. They're based on his original games, and we've also included oh. some from the King of Fighters 14 and the it's a sweet series. Right there. He sometimes takes off his cat too. For example, it happens during his victory pose. His cat also blows away when he is defeated in stamina <laughs> mode. Oh! <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, let's see this. The stage is called King of Fighters Stadium. Nice. It looks like one hardcore fighting coliseum. It does. The text above the Jumbotron reads, King of Fighters, without B. When we talk about a game title, we need B up front, but the name of the tournament in the game story is just King of Fighters. This is a very unique stage, and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before. Oh. First, the edge is walled off. In the Super Smash Bros. series, mm. you need to launch opponents off the stage. That's insane. I don't know why that's crazy. The more damage a fighter has accumulated, <laughs> the more the wall will visually react when they're launched into it. Can you see? Eventually... It's gonna break. Oh my gosh, that's kind of... <laughs> there are fireworks in the background. Basically, this special feature allows you to KO an opponent only after they've accumulated enough damage. Hmm. That way, you can enjoy the battle more like you would in the traditional fighting game. That's cool. When you're close to the wall, it's possible to KO even when your damage is low. It's just like in regular stages. In the real bout Fatal Fury series, there was a feature in which the walls could be destroyed and players could suffer a ring out when they hit the wall. This isn't exactly the same, but we made it kind of similar to that. We hope you'll enjoy playing at the stage with all its special rules. Is it the only special rule? Hmm. Nice. By the way, there are guest characters in the background, right? Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce Ken. them to you. <laughs> Ken, Ken 2, and Ryu 3. Cameos. First up, Andy Bogart. He's the yeah. adopted brother of Terry Bogart. Both of them were adopted from an orphanage Andy raised Bogart? by Jeff Bogart. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogart, Andy studied under Mai Shinanui's father. He uses the Kofoken fighting style. Right. <laughs> Joji Gashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. He's a Muay Thai champion. Kung Fu Ru. He's the master of the Holy <laughs> Fist of Eight Ways. And he also trained Jeff Bogart. He can enlarge his body as well. Billy Kane. He's been in many Fatal Fury games since the first one. And he's the right hand man of Geese Howard. <laughs> While he appears in the first game, okay. his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see it that <laughs> okay. much, but the no smoking symbol is definitely there. Geese Howard. I thought there was only three. <laughs> and he's the rival of Terry Bogart. Falling out the buildings is his thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rock Howard. His first appearance was Gato Mark of the Wolves. <laughs> He's the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually raised him. That means his appearance in this game, at this age, with that look, doesn't really jive with the timeline. But Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? 
<laughs> I don't get it. He considers himself a fighter for justice. His whole Kaku is very famous. Yuji Yamazaki. Holy crap, there's so many. Half of the development time went to the cameos. Blue Mary. Her first appearance was in Fatal Fury 3, too. She uses combat. I'll take it. And she is a good drinking buddy of Terry's. Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury. Drinking buddy? But from here on, the introduced ES. ES. ER. What is it? The rating thing? ESRB or something? ESRB? You're not going to be too happy with that one. Turn this game into mature. Let's listen. Music start. Thank you. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts of Sanai. There's so many! There are a lot. One of them even have their own song. They're just on a loop. Like Orochi and Nest. Like their animations are just looped. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. Well, yeah. Like over and over again, there's no idol. A very short one, anyway. Whoever created this character must be a genius. Oh. He's a judo gold medalist belonging to the Japanese team, and he likes to throw his opponents. Chan Bohan and Choi Whoa! One is an escape convict, and the other is a slasher. They are currently undergoing rehabilitation under the previously mentioned Kim Kapwa. He looks very strange. Ralph Jones and Clark Still. Originally, they were They're pairing them up now, it's taking too long. Before Neo Geo. They appeared as guests in the Metal oh, like series that too. Sucks. Yo Sakazaki, the protagonist of Art of Fighting. The original Art of Fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That yes. means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? King, her first appearance was in Art of Fighting, and she's the announcer and King. She is a beautiful woman with a sense of style. <laughs> A woman can be a king if they please. But after that, she trained hard and mastered Kyokugen Karate in just one year. In other words, she's a genius. So, as you can see, we've included many characters. A total of 20 characters. You know, it's very cumbersome. I mean, it takes a lot of time. But so many people love each and every one of these characters. The half of the development time, I swear, was the characters. By the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not included. Terry. My Shadow. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is for good boys and girls of many different ages, so we decided not to feature her. Please forgive us. Oof. Now I need to look up a picture of her. My music features a variety of tracks, and the music that plays affects which special guests will play. I'm interested. For example... You know how many people are looking up her right now? And when the music is playing, Andy Bogart will always appear. I hope you look forward to that as well. I'm looking it up. <laughs> See him in action. Okay, I'm done providing information. So now let's jump into some minutes. actual battles. This time I'm going to play the Terry Route Classic Mode. Oh. On top of that, I want to try and hit the highest intensity level. So let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. <laughs> cool. Honestly, playing a game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. So when I was just gonna watch him play, play classic mode. At once forces me to divide my attention, but it means I should do my best at both. And I'll do my best. First, this route is named the King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort of connection will appear as a set, a challenge that looks somehow familiar. Okay, the first intensity level is 5.0. That should be fine. All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This game's special KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. On this route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Okay, I did it anyway. 
pretty sure it's just him playing classic mode the rest of the time. That's a perfect shield. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. Nice. Yeah, but with a power wave? <laughs> if I could have pulled off the super special move, that would have been awesome. But, alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? Yes, I did. That was hard work. I hey, know, big deal, he's just a creator. Terry Bogard is really fun to play as, so I hope you enjoyed playing as him in such situations. Next. Song collection, here we go. Song. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna end, yeah. For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry, but there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. That aside, the music of SNK has always been great, right from the beginning. So this time, we selected tracks that could be called SNK style. Basically, we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside of just Fatal Fury and The King of Fighters. SNK songs have always been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. We did a lot of digging around and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. Whoa! Whoa. 50 We intended to do something like this, of course. So we submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, oh, okay. expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20. And he got them all. Acceptable. <laughs> but they told us they were, okay. As a result, we pretty much added in 50 songs. What? That's crazy. Have a look at the list. That's oh my! We ended up with the list we have, but Play we them all. Hard to deliver some of the best remixes. This was a very special one. The second case, Joker. And I don't think we'll be able to do the same for other series. To be honest, I think that being able to hear such a selection might oh. make the fighters pass okay. quite a bit more than its price. Star means new arrangements. I do hope you'll enjoy it. I will. Challenger Pack 4 comes with a spirit board, too. The spirit board can be selected via the spirits menu. Have a look at the background. If it looks familiar to you, you'll start feeling pretty nostalgic. Shinkiro-san's artwork is always so nice and vibrant, isn't it? You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. That old school Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork really is something. Nice. Now for the Mii Fighters. Oh. Let's have a look. Let's see if that, yeah. one, that one leak is real. Yeet. Who gets deconfirmed? Just kidding. Here we go. I swear if it's just a bunch of SNK characters, she's like, oh. That makes sense. Oh, this person, I know who this is. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. Art of fighting. Actually, not. I would understand. They're all the same with different names. No, they're not. What do you mean by that? They're all the same by different names. Just something of fighters, right? Oh, yeah. There. Oh, this guy again. Was he in Smash 4? I could have sworn he was in Smash 4. Yeah, I think so. And this guy as well. Aren't these guys already in? Oh, they're assist trophies. No. Oh, that's it. Okay. There were more last time. And Sans. Oh, yeah.
November 6th. That's today. SNK was also involved with the Mii Fighter set this time, so it has a strong fighting game influence. He's still gonna say the release date. The series Nakoruru comes from. It's, it's gonna be like today. Attack, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. I mean, I hope. I think. Moving on to Amiibo. Here's the new lineup. Oh! Simon yes. And Incineroar. 15th? That's next week. On Friday, November 15th. Oh wait, okay. that's two weeks or something. Speaking of 15th, <laughs> new Christmas songs come out. Okay, let's see what's new in the update. Next, let's discuss the details of the updates. We've made some improvements to battle arenas. Oh. First, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in a battle arena. The messages are preset. So there's that, and also, the player who created the arena can now change the rules. We've also added the option to play either battlefield form or omega form at random in the stage settings. Oh, nice. Aside from that, you can now pick Elite only as an arena type. What? Furthermore, quick play won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. Oh. As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made it so anyone is now free to join. Hmm. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Terry is due for distribution on nice. September 6th. Today. Nice. If you have the fighter's pass, you'll be able to get him straight away, or you can purchase him separately. Straight away, like now? Well, I think that wraps it up for our Terry Bogart showcase. Probably later tonight. I hope we were able to convey his appeal. By the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was created using SNK pixel art. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show it to you after this. Now this is something of an inside story, but I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. When the invitation comes out, you might recall how it says, Don't be late, S. That is not what I wrote. It makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Brothers series S. Well then, let's move on to the intro movie. <laughs> I don't get it. I guess we'll see. So yeah, that likes to fall off buildings. Oh, everyone's going for it. No one's catching it. I get it now. How do you, what do you I mean? I didn't understand that in the first one. I was like, what the heck is happening? How'd you not? I didn't get it. I guess I wasn't paying much attention. Get him, Terry! Get him! Hey, cover! Nice. Snake! Quite lit. Ooh, yo, Kirby, Kirby. hot. Shouldn't they have shown this first? Good job. I like it. Yeah, they should have shown this first. Oh well. 
And that's it. Nice. Oh, we crammed in a little too much content this time. Hopefully, I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. Okay.